What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we're doing another triple monitor setup video. This time we're doing Counter-Strike Global Offensive or CSGO. Um, and this is an interesting one. Um, for one, out of the box, it actually runs triple monitors with no widescreen fixer. The only issue I've run into though, is that the interface is really weird. So for one, your HUD scale needs to be basically all the way down, which you find in game settings under options. But from there, the HUD, especially in deathmatch, is still pretty big, pretty annoying, pretty obnoxious. So um, the way you basically get it to the point where it's perfect to where it'll fit most people's um, needs is through massive amounts of modifications through the console, uh, basically a config. and the, the config that you would need um, for this is extremely complicated, so much so that I didn't even bother with it. Um, but I will leave a link to a forum post where you guys can get some information on it. And if that doesn't help, uh, just Google the information, figure out the commands, and eventually you, you'll figure it out. It, it's just a very complicated process, to be honest. I really didn't want to deal with it. Um, and I really don't think it's worth it. I don't think that um, dealing with all that is worth it, because as is, it is playable. Um, Deathmatch, you do get a massive HUD on top, uh, but in competitive, you don't. It's actually much smaller and it's actually playable. So all around, I'm pretty happy with the way this game runs stock. In terms of what it adds to gameplay, in the case of Far Cry, if you watched that video, it added uh, more immersion. In the case of CSGO, it does add immersion, but the main thing that you're going to get as a benefit from this is definitely peripheral vision. A lot of people take it for granted, a lot of people think that it's not useful, and a lot of people feel that you're better off focusing on the middle screen. But what a lot of people don't realize is once you get used to using three monitors, it will take time. I recommend playing Deathmatch if you are a serious competitive player of CSGO. Once you get the three monitors going and you start using them for a bit, you'll find yourself easily being able to quickly look to the right or left, just like in real life, like you would in you know real life. And you'll be able to keep your vision to where you can see to the left of you, the right of you, and at the middle. I mean, you could literally check three positions at once at, at certain points. Like moving into B here right now, I mean, I could check car while watching the doors, which is huge. I mean, anyone who plays this game, you would understand this. I mean, you can literally turn a lot less to check positions. You know, you never have, you don't have to turn as much as you used to. I mean, there's a lot of time saving that comes with triple monitors. In addition to that, there's some times where someone's creeping up on you to your right or to your left, or someone uh, is in you know your peripheral vision that you wouldn't be able to see if it wasn't for the triple monitors. There's a lot of uh, moments in this game. I mean, I didn't play much, and there's a lot of moments in this game where I caught a situation that would help me a lot. And you can see me raging here. I was raging, and I got pretty excited later when I hit this cool little streak. Um, but yeah, all around this game is... Um, very benefit, uh, benefited? I don't know. It benefits heavily from having the triple monitor setup. So I do heavily, heavily, heavily recommend trying it out if you have a PC that can handle it, of course. Um, if you don't and you play competitive seriously and you are considering doing this, I think it's a great consideration. Now, in terms of um, its legitimacy, is you know there is huge advantages to this. Is this hacking? Is this cheating in some way? Um, I actually looked into this, and apparently Valve has no policy against this, and nor does um, any sort of competitive, you know, you know, outside of Valve competitive, there is no um, online competitive organization that's against this. There's nothing negative about it. I don't see any reason you get VAC banned or anything like that. It looks pretty good. So, with that being said, would I recommend you do this if you have CSGO? Yes, I would. Um, is it easy to do? Yes, it is. It's really, you know, just pop it in, you're ready to go. I mean, you literally just set up your monitors, get SLI surround going, and it runs fine. Uh, I would recommend, of course, reducing the HUD, and if you want to fine-tune it more, then it gets a little difficult, but I think the HUD alone does the job. Now, you can see on the left there, the mini-map is huge for one, and for two, it's far to the left. Now, there's a way to reposition it, once again, that involves, you know, going into your uh, console and messing with it. Um, but yeah, the HUD is way over there. So that's something that I, that's the only downside to not messing with your console. So it is 
probably a good idea to consider that, especially if you're gonna be playing competitive. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is uh, this has been fun. I think you guys hopefully enjoyed this. Um, you know, just a quick little video to tell you about Counter Strike on three monitors. So I hope you enjoyed. Enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll uh, see you guys next time. And leave a comment or like if you have any feedback, negative or positive. And yeah, guys, see you guys next time.